My name's Chris and you're watching the Child of Each channel. Okay, hello everyone. We're at the scene in Lee, in Greater Manchester. Fuck you! Beeping at me. I was on the road though. So, we're on the canal here in Lee. Policeman's kicked me across the road over here. There's fa they found a body in the water and uh, they think it's suspicious. Hence why there's a major police operation over here collecting evidence. Now here's a detective car, a little bit more respectable than the Peugeot 308. I'll get us onto the bridge. I'll show you what's going on. I mean, look at that. How pretty, how quaint, how lovely. Canal boats, nice traditional structures. Hello, gentlemen. You've got some PCSOs holding the screen down there. They are holding a screen, look. I don't know what it all means. There's PCSOs. What we're gonna try and do, guys, is get a shot from the other side. Hello. Got this part closed off the I know, I understand. I understand. No problem. You've got to keep the evidence and stuff. So, body in the canal. No. Suspicious circumstances. I don't know what it is yet. I can't say anything. Of course, it's anything. a body. It's all over the press. The police have said it's a body. Have they? Yes, they have. But um, I've not seen the news yet anyway, so. Oh, no, it's below your pay grade. They wouldn't tell you. It's below your pay grade. I'm joking, I'm joking. But what it is. The police definitely think it's suspicious. Really? Yes. Yeah, like I said, I've not seen the papers or anything yet because I've been stood here all day, so. I know. Fair enough. One sec. Meow, meow, meow. You're not allowed to call them Siamese cats anymore. They're co joined cats. Co joined. Beautiful, though. Look at that weird face on it. Oh, kitties. Okay. Here's the scene on the canal in central Lee. There's the evidence tent with some interesting canal ironworks directly in front. And they have behind the tree an actual cop hiding from me. We're around the back of the uh, waterfront, some waterfront courthouse. No, sorry, waterfront court, and it's a house. And the detective that I, um, no, you didn't see it on video. I said hello to him at the top. He's uh, gone in there, probably looking for CCTV. Was it Waterhouse Court? Almost, almost had it. Oh, I'm fine. Do you need help? Oh, come on! If I was like more official media, sorry. I don't appreciate being told what to do by men in space suits. Sorry. Dude, relax. Do your job. Stop getting antagonized by people in public. No, I'm not going to stop filming. I'm a free man. Why? If I were from the press, would that be okay? Well, maybe I am, but I'm a human being doing free stuff in public. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm on your side. No, it's not a human right. I'm an individual. So could you please asking, F off, please, please F off, please, please. How can one guy trying to do his own little story create such antagonism with the thin blue line? Hi, my name's Charlie Veach, madam. Unlike you, I'm not scared of hiding. I mean, I don't, I'm not scared. I don't have to hide. The name's Charlie Veach. Look me up. I have a website. Thank you. Please leave me alone. 
please, please leave me alone. I'm not in the mood to getting told what to do like a bad school kid. I'm not. Hey guys, hi, are you here to deal with me? Yeah, we're not filming, mate. It's a scene. I know, but I'm not in the scene. We're not filming. I'm, I'm a journalist, freelance, freelance. Yeah, well, this is private property here, mate. But isn't, it's a civil offence, Mr. Policeman, isn't it? It's not really a... I don't know what's, I don't know. I know. But guys, please don't antagonise me. I'm not here to get in the way. I know, but I have some respect as well. Can I, can no, but here's the thing. Are you the law police or the moral and respect police? Speak, Unless, am I breaking your, a law? Can I speak to you over Of course here? you can, but I will record it. I will, because... Record I, away. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I've been... Excuse me, right. sir. Do you live in these? He doesn't, he doesn't live in there, no. It's a residence for vulnerable yeah. members of, of the community and it's staff and, it, and it, it, you can't be coming on You're going to be causing right harm now. to these guys who suffer from mental illness by climbing, by climbing over and being up and No one welcome. climbed over. Oh, I went round the open way. Well, then, can we walk back out the way because the, the staff who are here, they don't want to be here. But so, can I ask you gentlemen a question before you I, walk, before you, you walk, actually you impose walk. on my behaviour and freedom in public, can I please ask you a question? Can you film that? Get that in the, get in the shot. Yeah, but... So Am I going to be handcuffed and taken away for not knowing it was private property? You, you now know, so let's walk and... and Alright, but can I ask you guys a question? Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law? On this private property, you are, yeah. Do you know what it looks like to me is that you guys have gotten super offended by a guy who's just figured out a public access way to get a better shot than other members of the press? That's what it looks like to me. Well, well, well done to you, but we, we do want you to leave. And I'm like on your side, Mr. Detective. I don't want you to film. Uh, uh, okay, I think Vondra, okay, well, yeah, yeah, it's yes, filming please. me, look, you can see it's filming me, it's not pointing at them. Okay, look. Okay. <laughs> see, I came in, do, do you want me thank you for kicking me out and making me feel like a bad ten-year-old? Thank you guys, appreciate it. So am I okay here, is this public now, am I allowed here? I forgot what, sorry. Why do you treat me like I'm like one of the gangsters that killed your, your body? I have, yeah. Alright. Can I be here? Can we be here? Mr. Friendlier now that we're out of the... Under what though? You're That's recording. Mm -hmm. This is... You can't go in because it is a scene. Is that part of the scene, Waterhouse no. Court? No, it's that obviously private land. Alright. Would this be in a scene? Fair enough. But... I'm not going to feel like an immoral person just for finding a public access way to get a better no, no, shot. No, no. Said that. Fair enough. Right. Okay. Anyway, all the tension's down. My adrenaline's going. Whew. I am calm and serene. Yeah. So, so where are you from, anyway? you got I don't want to chat this yeah. generally. But um, what's your name? First name? Hey. Yeah, no, I don't think it's just PC Harrow. Okay, mate. I'm Charlie. Anyway. Yeah. Take care. Okay, we've left Lee. We're going back to Manchester on the A580 East Lanx. And I uh, just want to show you the traffic, you know, it's only, what time is it, 12.40 and look how busy the East Lanx is heading towards Liverpool. As the, as the pet shop boy said, go west, it is better there. And well, no, go east, because uh, you try and go west, you're fucked by traffic. But I'm just impressed by those clouds and the colour on the screen. Okay, now this is like a... I only started filming halfway down the tailback, so this is like a four mile tailback. And look at these poor bastards joining at the end. Anyway, look at that. Hi everyone, welcome to sunny Oldham. We're quite near the city in a slightly, I mean, look at this. This is the suburban offshoot here. When they build these things, do you think the architects, when they build these, places would ever consider any of their own family living in them. I don't think so. So we're on Flora Street here in Oldham. I'll fill you in on the story. At around midnight last night, hello, a man got stabbed very badly in a residence down there. He was obviously rushed to hospital. The doctors, the surgeons, everyone tried to save his life and he succumbed to his stab wounds and he died. Now, the reason this is interesting, I mean, it's sad, it's depressing, it's awful, but it's interesting because Manchester is currently 
in the grip of a shooting, stabbing and murder epidemic. And it's just not right. And what else is interesting, coming back to this particular situation, is the, the police, the Greater Manchester Police, have arrested six people for murder for this man last night. It's getting crazy. It's getting bad, guys. What went on in that house where six people murdered or allegedly murdered a man by stabbing him? Now, of course, many of my viewers will be thinking, hold on a second, Charlie. Six people arrested for murder does not mean that six people, like an attack on Julius Caesar, all stabbed them in the back. No. What it means is, is that six people were there and the police have the right to arrest six of them to put the fear of God into them and try and get some answers as to what the hell happened I mean we've just come from Lee out in uh, Wigan area and we got chased away by the the cops who funnily enough didn't know who I was and now all I need to do is open up the Manchester Evening News every morning and there's like five or six stabbings, shootings, burglaries, robberies, killings, rapes to choose from. And I'll bring it to you guys as it happens. There's no, there's no agenda here except that which is interesting will have its photons collected. It's as simple as that. See this big queue of people behind here? I thought that these were residents waiting to get back home. And I asked the lady at the back, I said, oh, are you queuing to get back to your apartment? Which has all been, obviously, police line do not cross. And she goes, no, um, they're late, but there's a food charity that comes here and helps all the poor people have food, which is very nice. And it just broke my heart because the lady was so honest, so open. And this, this guys, this is, this is the new normal. Police ticker tape for violent murders where the rest of the population queue up for food. It's sad. Damn, this wasn't the future I imagined when I was a kid. Behind me you can see the darling charity people giving out free food to the needy. All right, just um, to close this scene here. Obviously I'm inside the cordon. Some other guys had to go in, so I got in the uh, the senior cop on duty, his name's Carl. And he's like, I recognize you, you're, you're that Charlie Veach. And just to show you the difference between a site here where the cops know me and they're super friendly, how are you, how's the family, how's the kids? Compared to Lee at the canal where nobody knew who I was, I was just an ordinary member of the peasantry. And you see how the police treat people. So, ugh, I don't know what to say, I mean, the charity's in there, this big van is full of food. They're gonna help out the people. And had a nice chat with Carl the cop. And uh, and uh, he's as horrified by uh, the way the world's going as we all are. That's it. This is Charlie Veach on Thursday the 25th of March, 2021 on Flora Street, Oldham.